and we've given the reasons already. So this is the opportunity for prayer, for looking in your heart, looking at the judgment you have of God, looking at the desires you have, the I deserves, the things you feel are your right, and recognizing if you're in the Lord, none of those things are valid. For to be a disciple, we must deny ourselves. Deny the things that we, we deem we deserve. Deny the things that we deem our right. Because those are the areas Satan comes in to steal. Something happens and he says, yeah, you're, you know, that's owed to you. And God didn't give it to you. And very often we, we agree. And we judge God. And, then, and then, then we get further upset because, of course, now that we've judged God, things don't seem to, seem to be getting any better. It seems to be getting worse, of course. They have to. You will reap what you sow. If you sow in judgment, you will reap the judgment of God. Right? So, as, as Christians, examine your heart. Look for those areas where you have rules operating that are not in line with the Word of God. Because wherever that rule is, is, is going against the Word of God. Every place, your opinion, your personal rule, your personal anything, is in, is in contrast with the Word of God, is an area you're going to be uh, suffer discontentment in. And, and pray to the Lord to reveal those things to you. There's so many, it's, it's so multi-layered, I certainly couldn't enumerate them even here today. But if you take the time in prayer to earnestly seek the Lord in those areas where there's something in you, in this case a stronghold of discontent, ask the Lord, what's the judgment that's holding that stronghold in place? As we've seen, judgment tends to, 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 to be the foundation for most strongholds. There's some judgment that's holding it in place. So for discontent, there's something you've judged God in. Or you may not see it as judging God. You may simply judge that I'm not getting this thing. Well then, you're judging God that he didn't deliver it to you. So seek the Lord on asking what's the judgment that's causing my discontent. What's the judgment? The free scripture we read, the other area can be envy. Looking at what the group does. Or as we say, uh, 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 trying to chase after the Joneses. Well, they have that, so I want it. And God says, why? That's their reality. That's their reality. David, you pointed out a, a, a great thing that uh, Satan, being the prince of this world, can give us the things of this world. We actually don't need God to get the things of this world. Satan will do it. He'd be glad to. So we should be looking to, looking to God for things that are not of this world. Deliverance from evil, for one, is not of this world. Eternal life is not of this world. Peace is not of this world. Meekness, gentleness, goodness, the fruit of the Spirit is not of this world. 